Hey guys, Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra here. I'm test driving my new Twitch overlay system because I never get to play games and I just want to bring you more content, so I'm going to do it this way and it's kind of fun, so live with it. I don't want to spend too much time promoting myself anymore, so you go to battleshipcobra.com. I'm going to try and keep the intros to a minimum because they get kind of uh, kind of crazy. Maybe if I want to chat about something, I will. Uh, one thing, I did make my working remotely or working from home course free. So check the link in the description or go to remote.battleshipcobra.com. Today I'm going to do a DTW process for importing price lists. I get this question all the time. So I'm going to show you right from the beginning, uh, basics of the DTW, all the way to uh, what a customer would give me and then how to import it. And then I'm going to actually import it. So let's go. Okay, so something I would pretty typically get from a customer is something like this. So, you know, item code, this is all I really need. Item code, list, 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 okay? And then I'm gonna start to convert it into something that is more useful. So what I normally will do here, let's just take a quick look at this item. So I'm already here. And you can see the different prices, all the different prices, these are out of order and not necessarily, you know, you don't know what one's what. You can't assume like this is one, two, three, four. Um, even if you look in the price lists, uh, they're not necessarily in an order that makes any sense. So it doesn't really matter for this point, but um, what we're gonna do is we need to take it and we need to split it into a couple parts. So there's two items here that can be hundreds of items. The process is identical. So what you want to do is go list, take all this information, split it up. So I'll put this file in a uh, link in the description as well. So this is what I'll do is I'll just take the different columns and I'll split it up. So I'll go here and I'll paste it here. I'll paste, um, I'll go data and then I'll paste, you know, list row one into the prices in the first one. I'll do the second one into the prices in the second one here, here, right? One, two, three. So you paste everything down and then everything else you're just going to kind of fill down. So record key, you need one, two, three, four. You could just fill that all down and then just paste, paste, like uh, paste here, paste here in the record key, paste here in the record key, paste here in the record key. So you're going to see, you're going to see here that you're building like these columns in order to eventually stack them all up. So what you want to do is fill out the rest of these columns. So they're all the same ish really. So it depends. In this case, I have a currency. So currency is dollars, which in this case, because I'm in Canada, it's Canadian dollars. And then I have an additional price in USD. So if you're not familiar with uh, price lists, if you have this assigned and in this single price list, you have a customer that's USD, it's going to use this price. If you have a customer that's Canadian, it's going to use this price. Technically, it should be the other way around in here. But in this case, it's just, for example, one, two, three, to make it easier for me. So each one has a Canadian price, each one has a US price. If it uses a Canadian price, if, it uses a, if you go to use a US price, it'll convert the Canadian price. But if you actually are set to USD, it will use a specific USD price. So it doesn't like auto convert it. So you could potentially have your own spread there that's standardized so you can stick with it. So you don't have to say it like fluctuates with the, um, with the exchange. So maybe you want to add a little bit of extra conversion in there for shipping or whatever. So you do all these, fill all these columns out, parent keys the same, this is the same, this is the same. Um, you don't have to have these secondary columns too. Feel free to remove them. And as long as you remove all the columns, you can leave these blank too, it won't affect anything. So some can have additional and some cannot. That's all good, so those are done. Now what you do is you mix them. <clears throat> so what I'll do is from split, I'll just take this, copy, and you have to like copy this all down. Go here, we take this one, oops, to mix. Then we're 
we're gonna go back to split. And you can use, you know, you you know, you got your copy mix, and you got here control shift right, control shift down, mix. Okay, the one thing I forgot to mention here is how do we set the line number? Okay, so this is a little trick. And this code is in the description as well. So you're like, oh, which line number is it? Oh, okay, let's look on here. One, two, three. No, you can't look at that. You, you don't even want to look at ITM1. What you want to do is run this. Tools, queries, query generator. Just push execute, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna give you an error. Okay, so in this case, I had set um, you know, each one to a different one. So this will be zero. If you wanna up, if the price list that they told you to update is, you know, say catalog pricing, you're gonna use zero because this blank is actually zero. You can't make it show zero. 50 dot vendor price is one. So if this one of these was that, you'd use that row number. In this case, I just use one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be vendor, this one, that one, that one. Okay, doesn't matter what they are. When you're doing your split, just set this price list. So this is all one price list, right? One price list. Price three, list three, etc. So I did these here, zero, one, two, and three. So actually we're updating these ones, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so then when you stack them, um, so we mix them here, we're gonna delete these rows and we wanna sort it by, first I like to sort by this, by the line num, expand the selection. Then I wanna sort it by the items. So I like to do it this way. Previously, we'd have issues when we would uh, intermix them, like one, zero, two, zero, three, zero. So this way it will work properly and you can throw back in the header. So in the mix, insert cells. So then now you have everything back. And this is what we're gonna use for ITM1. And OITM is simply gonna be this one. So just the, just the codes, just kind of like this part of it. Okay, so you're jumping through these kind of hoops to make this, uh, to make this data transfer workbench thing work, but there's nothing I can do to make it any more simple, guys. We move ahead. We have OITM, ITM1. We wanna save this as a spreadsheet. Totally save it as a spreadsheet. Don't mess around and start to save it as a text file right now. You need to save it as a spreadsheet first. So this is what I do, file, save as this PC. I go and save it as tab delimited and I will save this as OITM. I actually have it already there. ITM1, file, save as, save in. ITM1. Okay, one other tip here is in your data, you want to turn these to um, a numeric format that does not have a thousand separators. It will give you an error if you do a thousand separators. So make sure it's numeric, uncheck that. If you don't uncheck that, it is, it is gonna give you an error message for the ones that are over a thousand because it's gonna try and put those dollars there. So I've I've saved this out and then I save that out. Now what happens, it's in this weird format, itm1.txt. So if you, if you made some changes and you saved right now, it's gonna save it in a text file, which is gonna ignore all your changes. So what you have to do is once you save it in a text, close it. You're done with that. You just have to do it that way. 
Okay. So let's go right click, start our uh, data transfer workbench. Always run it as administrator. I'm gonna go here, log in. Uh, if this is the first time you're ever running this, you're gonna have to change the server there. So it's gonna prompt you and you're gonna have to get to the SLD. Then you just use your SAP user. Import master data update. It's always an update. Even if you're at, even if you add a new price list, even if you added a new price list and then you ran this and you did this, it's still an update. So if I wanted to add something to test, it's it's a line num seven. It's an update. Okay, next inventory item master data the first file we made is items because you always need like that top level what items are being affected second sheet is a multi is a single to multi relationship so you have two sheets the first sheet indicates what item and then the second sheet uh, indicates the prices OITM ITM1 next check these should be fine everything should be mapped so usually what I'll do is I'll run simulation. Should be pretty quick. Um, the errors will come up. If you want to see them here, you go failed. Both of these were successful. Um, once you've run the simulation, you haven't saved it. So now you're going to go next. Sometimes I will ignore all errors. I've had some cases where some of the databases, you know, they have maybe 10 missing items that literally just aren't in there. There's some reference. Um, you even get a file at the end that has the has the errors. So you could send that error file back to the customer and just be like, these weren't updated. I don't know what items they are. I mean, you can take a look for those items, but nothing was updated anyway. So, okay, so I did all this stuff. I ran my simulation, was good. Next, da, da, da. make sure you back up your database, do all that stuff, right? Back up your database, do this in a test database first. Don't be stupid. You know, you know what to do, man, you know. Import, boom. Okay, so let's see what we got. <clears throat> so we updated. So for this guy, we should go here, push refresh, refresh. Okay, so we've updated. So we did uh, zero, one, two, three, catalog price. Should be one, one. Vendor price should be two, two. We did number two, which would have been price list three. I should have done line number one, two, three, four, but I think you understand what I'm getting at. Three would be, uh, no, sorry, uh, ZZJR is gonna be three <clears throat> and uh, two. two. My agenda attacked me. Sorry. Three, two dot dealer price is going to be four. So, boom, that worked. Switch back to the talking head. Um, so that's effectively it. Uh, you just remember, you can get my little query here in the description. I will link my uh, spreadsheet into the description as well. Good luck updating all your price lists. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Go to battleshipcobra.com for everything else. Talk to you later.